all you space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and I am back on day eight. Well, I need to qualify some stuff here today in that I had already gone through and recorded day eight, and for whatever reason, my voice did not come through. So we're going to do a bit of an abbreviated video on everything that I did get accomplished in day eight. Uh, so let's go over here and get charged up. We're probably going to go after that unknown signal out there. But let's uh, go on out. And I'll show you everything that I got done on the outpost. So if we come over here and we go down to the outpost. So the big thing that I got done... Well, let's go inside first, and then we'll come back out here and, and look at this. So if we come down in here, I redid, or I added some more structure, and I got lights in here. So we have lights now uh, in this portion. I've got a light over here. Now, I don't have this all lighted, as this is going to be another uh, video uh do working this room in here what i did get installed in here was a second battery so as you can see it is slowly getting charged if we go in here you can see that i have two batteries now built uh, the first one uh, from the last episode is getting fully charged up so it's within uh it's got a 2.39 megawatts of power stored and they'll be fully recharged in 48 hours and then the second battery that I got done it's got 1.88 megawatts of power and you can see that it's slowly recharging and it has about an hour to go for fully being recharged I will eventually get the third battery because I think that'll be more than enough to have stored power of uh, the three different batteries I will mention in the last episode that we did, I did get the solar array in, and if we fly down there, we'll take a look at that, and then we'll come back up here. So let's go down to that solar array, uh, which is right, uh, where is it at? It's right down here. So as you can see, the panels are all uh, collecting almost at 100%. That's because I have those set up on a programmable block and a script, uh, digi script of the solar array. And so it keeps these panels turned towards the sun uh, all the time while the sun is up. So it's going to continually adjust these panels so that uh, that will continually. Uh, have maximum power going into the base and charging those batteries up. All right. So that is that. Why don't, actually, while I am still got some power, let's go get this unknown signal out here. Uh, let's see if we can get out there without uh, crashing. The other thing I'm going to do is we'll make a couple of quick mining runs here. Uh, we'll probably try to get the uh, mining ship that I got built. I'll uh, cover that here. Uh, but uh, let's uh, go ahead and get this unknown signal. Which will give us a, a little bit more materials. That always helps. We still have to build a lot of stuff, but these really help with steel. I don't have to iron, mine nearly as much iron and stuff like that. So, let's see what we got here. Yeah, this is one we can get. Let's see what we got. See if there's any good stuff in here. Uh, computers. That's always good. We can use those. All right, so now let's... Where is the parachute? That's right there. So I think what we want to do is grind this out first. 
And see if we can grab the canvas. There we go. We got that. All right. We can grind this. Uh, just start grinding everything down on this. So we managed to get uh, computers out of this. And I know some of this stuff is uh, not a lot. But still, if we look at our inventory, we've got uh, that much steel. We got all of that in computers. Uh, and we managed to get this other. And like these radio comms and this here, we can disassemble that and get those uh, minerals out of that. So that uh, was is very helpful. All right, let's head back to the ship. And then we can, uh, I can show you what else I've gotten done. And then we'll make a couple of quick runs over and mine some more iron ore. And then see if we've got enough uh, ice on the ship to move that other ship the mining ship that we've got built that we're going to take a look at right here. Let's see, am I turned the right way here? Always upside down here. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right. So, as you can see here, I've got the connector with conveyor tubes built out. So that's where the mining ship is going to connect into uh, for all of the iron ore, cobalt, those types of ores. And here is the mining ship. So you can see it's a basic mining ship. It just got the one drill on the front. It's tied into <coughs> the cab. I've got a uh, O2 hydrogen generator here. Uh, this is a conveyor junction that I put in so that I can uh, connect up into that other connector. Uh, I've put a couple of gyros and a spotlight on here. Uh, I've got uh, three medium batteries. So there's one there, one there, and one on this side. One of the things that uh, uh, I did in the while I was building this was I had to grind down one of these batteries and I got a little too far, <coughs> excuse me, and I got into that medium cargo bay and ground it off uh, while I still had the frame and these didn't move. So I put that back in but it didn't connect up and not realizing it so I went up to get the parts for these. And lo and behold, these this had floated away. So that was a little mishap that I had while I was building it. But we got it done. I've got uh, five small hydrogen thrusters on each side of this. So if we come around here to the other side, you can see that there are five on this side. That gives me uh, backwards. Uh, actually, I probably didn't need this one on here. But I went ahead and put these additional forward thrusters. But we've got up, down, left, and right, and forward and backwards uh, here with this. And then I've got a large hydrogen thruster here. So if we're making some uh, longer 10, 12 kilometer runs over to get power or to get uh, ice or something like that, then that gives us uh, the capabilities of getting up to speed. Uh, so let's pop inside. I need to set up a couple of things on here. Uh, actually, first off, let's do this. Let's uh, put, well, let's just start storing some stuff in here. The stuff that we got from I eventually want to put another cargo bay right here so we'll build that out but for now we're going to go ahead and just uh, throw this stuff in right here 
There we go. That right there. Then I got quite a bit of ice on the ship. So let's go up to the ship. And see if we can get this connector over. Or see if we can get the mining vessel over to the connector. All right. Let's... Yeah, I got quite a bit of ice here, so let's grab that. Uh, let's get charged up. There we go. I probably could have just sat in the other one, but I wanted to make sure I was fully charged. What I want to do is make sure I have enough power to get over and connect it up. So let's uh, we'll head back down to that mining vessel now. Okay. Well, we can hop inside. And let's just take a look at our control panel here. So our connector, and I adjusted it on the other one as well. The strength, I always like to change that. So if we, we want to change this to 0 0.0015. And that seems to make it a bit better when we're connecting it. Uh, I need to make a group of my hydrogen thrusters so let's grab all of these and then we have this large hydrogen thruster uh, I believe that's all of them one two three five, six seven eight nine ten and then the large one so let's make a, a group for thrusters and you know what I should do I should Let's just uh, say M dash for minor. And let's hit save. Uh, I probably should do this as well. M dash. I might have to redo my group here, but I should have thought of this before. Uh, next one. M dash. Oop dash so we'll get these all identified and I will make this group it shouldn't change that I should be able to just turn on that group because we're going to pull this down into the hot bar and this way we can turn these on and off. All right, and then we go to this one and we're going, there we go. All right, now if we go back up to these M thrusters, yeah, that still gives us the group and that's, there we go, all right. So we've got that group, uh, I don't, think there's anything else I could do these gyros uh, let's go ahead and rename these and then we can uh, we're just going to call this M gyros and save that uh Oh, the batteries, we need to make a group out of these. All right, dash, and M dash, and then let's select all of these. We're just gonna call this 
M dash batteries. There we go. And save. I believe that's everything that I need as far as on groups. So let's do this. Let's go to G and our groups. I want to uh, actually let's do this first. Oop. Let's go to G. Home. Uh, let's pull this down connector and this is going to be a switch lock all right uh, the landing gear is going to be a switch lock and before I forget we need to go into that landing gear let's rename it M dash and we need to turn off the auto lock. There we go. All right. Now we can come back in. And we can pull this landing gear down. And oh, I already did. That'll be a switch lock. All right. The Let's go to our groups and our batteries we're going to want to uh let's see I'm trying to remember recharge uh recharge auto yeah so that will be set and if we hit three uh, I I'm not sure if I got that right I got to remember that we'll we'll test that out though when we get set up over here and then we want our thrusters on or off toggle block on off let me look at this battery again uh, I think it's recharge on off actually let's do that so we should have enough stuff here. All right, let's do this. I don't know if I can just do my from my inventory right here. We throw this into the, I can, it's gonna let me do that. And then if we go outside, it sounds like our engines are going. Uh, our power is at 29%. So if we unlock this. And let's see if we can get moved over without using up all of our ice. Uh, let's go down. up uh, forward a little bit more Oop, I think that's a little too much and let's there we go and let's uh, lock that so those are in place now we can hit uh, three let's go back inside now we can hit three we can turn these off there we go and then turn that to charge so that's charging now if we look at our batteries our control panel which I want to do that anyway uh, we'll go down to our M batteries so these are medium batteries they got stored power of up to uh, I think their max current power 
they're going to they're not quite as much as the large batteries but with these three medium batteries should be more than enough to handle the electronics and stuff like that so uh, I guess at this point we can pop out we can leave this connected right here oh I know one more thing I needed to do I needed to bring down this spotlight and this is toggle block on and off and it's currently on so we can go ahead and turn turn those off all right let's now we can hop out and we've got the miner set up and all connected and I think well this again this is going to be a short video uh, we've got uh, uh, I showed you what the miner is and we've got that all in that's got hydrogen and stuff uh, I still need to fill it up with ice to get that hydrogen tank full so what I might be able to do uh, put a little more ice in there and then in the next episode we'll make an ice run and we'll just literally uh, fill this up with ice and then it'll fill up that hydrogen tank all right well I think we're gonna call the video good right here hopefully everything recorded like it was supposed to this time let's go ahead and go back into our main ship where I always usually in the videos from and oh you know what here dang it I might as well go ahead and put the rest of this ice in down here uh, I could just throw it right into here this will be fine there we go all right, now back up. Uh, where are we at here? Okay. Well, let's get back inside. And let's get charged up real quick. Okay, well, again, I apologize for it being a little shorter video this uh, week, but uh, I did get quite a bit accomplished with uh, adding that connector for the uh, mining ship, got the mining ship built, and got another battery built into the uh, outpost. So next episode, we're going to work on going and grabbing more materials or more ores. We'll go do some mining, <coughs> and then... Uh, we're going to start working more on the outpost, getting that steel built. We'll be able to go and start uh, gathering up iron and be able to produce a lot of steel plates so that we can finish getting the floor and getting the rest of that building built or the outpost built and getting uh, backup power and hydrogen and stuff like that in there. All right, that's going to wrap this up. Okay, all you space engineers out there, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really does help the video out. And please subscribe. That'll really help the channel. Okay, space engineers, keep your heads low, keep building away, and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.